there was a disconnect between the uh, kind of the popular press and neuroscientists. Runner's High was, uh, um, was hard to explain from a neuroscience perspective for a long time. There was a disconnect between the uh, kind of the popular press and neuroscientists. So the popular press said, of course, endorphins, it's causing it all. But from the neuroscience perspective, we had information that endorphins in your peripheral nervous system, in your body, was going up. But that doesn't mean that endorphins were actually also going up in your brain and that it was doing anything to your brain's uh, pleasure centers. Only recently have we gotten direct evidence that, in fact, endorphins are going up during and after a, a, a run, and this was a study done in, in um, kind of long-term, long-distance runners, and that they are binding to those parts of the brain that are stimulating the kind of euphoric feeling. So we still don't know the exact time course, how long you have to do it, and anecdotally, not everybody gets to that level. So it may be individual differences. Maybe some people have more endorphin receptors and, and less endorphin re receptors, but it's clear that it is endorphins that is at least partially responsible for that runner's high. And um, we'd like to try and take advantage of that so people can really get the motivational benefits of, of that to continue exercising.